The confirmed number of cases of the coronavirus in Los Angeles County today tops 91,467. The confirmed number of deaths hits 3,246. Here in Torrance, the total number of confirmed cases is 528, with total confirmed deaths at 50. We anticipate those numbers to increase as the county updates its last 24-hour operating period. Welcome to COVID-19 Today. I'm Colleen Farrell. It's 4 p.m. on Friday, June 26th. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released three new symptoms that you need to look out for to indicate if you have the coronavirus. The updated list includes congestion or runny nose, nausea, and diarrhea. These three join the list of symptoms that include fever, cough, shortness of breath, chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and loss of taste or smell. The CDC says this does not include all the possible symptoms someone might experience. The CDC also announced new research that pregnant women who get infected were five times more likely to be hospitalized than non-pregnant women. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists responded to a recent finding in a statement. The new data suggests a different level of risk for pregnant patients than was previously indicated. Clinicians should counsel patients about potential increased risks of severe illness associated with COVID-19 infection during pregnancy. It emphasizes the importance of taking precautions to prevent getting sick. Lastly, the CDC also updated the list of underlying medical conditions that increase a person's risk of severe illness. Those include asthma, high blood pressure, neurologic conditions such as dementia and pregnancy, along with the existing list of conditions such as chronic kidney and obstructive pulmonary disease, obesity, serious heart conditions, sickle cell and type 2 diabetes, as well as those in an immunocompromised state. The CDC released new guidelines today about wearing face masks. Officials say everyone should wear a face cover when they have to go out in public, whether it's to the grocery store or to pick up other necessities. While it is a mandate in California, officials say it's not only to protect others, but to protect yourself as well. The CDC reminds the public that cloth face coverings should not be placed on young children under two and anyone who has trouble breathing is incapacitated or those unable to remove the mask without assistance. They also clarified that wearing a mask isn't necessarily to protect yourself from getting infected, but from, but from infecting others if you are asymptomatic. When it comes to the type of mask you should wear, they urge the use of cloth or disposable masks and not using face masks meant for healthcare workers. The CDC also says, says to continue social distancing, keeping six feet apart from others, even if you are wearing a mask, as the cloth face covering is not a substitute for social distancing. In California, Governor Gavin Newsom made it mandatory for all to wear face masks in public settings when social distancing isn't possible, while experts were initially on the fence as to whether masks were effective in preventing person-to-person -person transmission, a number of studies have confirmed that they actually do provide an important layer of protection. Coronavirus cases continue to surge here in California with more infected patients being hospitalized. In the beginning of the pandemic, we saw a surge in cases from nursing homes, and now the trend is showing increasing numbers among young people. Health officials say the surge comes after weeks of protests as many were out without masks and gathering in large groups. In California, 56% of patients diagnosed recently were 18 to 49 years old. And here in Los Angeles, 40% of new cases occurring were among the younger age group of 18 to 40. Hospitalizations have also gone up 32% in the last 10 days, which officials are closely watching. Governor Newsom says as many as 15 counties, including Los Angeles, are being closely monitored. He urged that as the state sees more transmissions, the public must act responsibly to avoid another shutdown. Newsom encouraged everyone to continue to practice safety protocols like wearing a face covering, 
physically distancing, washing hands frequently, and staying home whenever possible. Major airlines are making changes again as business continues to pick up. American Airlines announced today that it will stop blocking middle seats on flights beginning July 1st. The airline had been limiting capacity on flights and blocking passengers from choosing middle seats in an effort to offer more space between each seat. But as travel demands began to pick up, to pick back up, the airline says it will begin filling those seats to capacity. American Airlines isn't alone. United Spirit and Frontier have already begun filling every seat on board. American is, however, taking other precautions like requiring all passengers to wear face masks while on board and implementing cleaning and disinfection procedures and requiring passengers to complete a self-health assessment before flights. They are also the first airline to ban a passenger for refusing to wear a mask earlier this month. Now, there are some major airlines that are still capping capacity. Delta Airlines says they will limit passengers at least until September 30th, blocking middle seats in economy and every other seat in first class and add additional flights to routes where demand outweighs the limited capacity. The Automobile Club of Southern California released summer projections for the months of July through September. AAA estimated 107 million trips expected to be taken by car to travel at least 50 miles away. That's a 17 percent drop from last summer. Travel hasn't been projected to be this low since 2013. Experts say road trips will be the popular trend for the summer for people who live in California, Oregon, Washington, Hawaii, and Alaska, even though car travel is looking to be less than the previous year as well. Air travel is also expected to take a big hit and decrease by more than 70 percent among West Coast residents, the lowest in trips by air in 20 years. Other means of travel, including cruises, buses, and trains will make up the biggest dec decrease in third quarter travel. Without pandemic concerns, AAA would be projecting close to 857 million trips for the U.S. during this time of year as families plan summer vacations while kids are out of school. California Governor Gavin Newsom declared a budget emergency, blaming expenses and the economic downturn caused by COVID-19. By declaring a budget emergency, it allows the state to tap into its rainy day fund as the state anticipates a $54.3 billion budget deficit due to costs and a drop in revenue due to the pandemic. Under a deal reached with lawmakers, the state would use about $16 billion from the rainy day fund over the next three years. The finance department projected a 25.5 percent decline in personal income taxes collected by the state and a 27 percent decline in sales taxes, along with a 23 percent drop in corporate taxes. While weddings and large banquet style events have been postponed or canceled for the near future, there's one place in Torrance that says they're planning ahead and ready to book now. The Torrance Cultural Arts Center is accepting reservations for the 2021 and 2022 calendar year. While they may be closed now, you can book venues ahead of time online. You'll find a 3D tour of some of the venues so that you can check out each location from the comfort of your home. Now, if you're interested in booking a space, call 310-781-7150 or email tcac at torrencca.gov. As more and more businesses reopen and COVID-19 recovery efforts continue, the city was thrilled to be part of the reopening plans for one business here in Torrance. The Sears outlet is now officially reopened under a new name, offering more inventory for the community. Torrance City Council members welcomed the opening of American Freight with an official ribbon cutting celebration. This also marked the first ribbon cutting event since the health pandemic shut down all businesses. 
Located on Torrance Boulevard next to Bye Bye Baby, the location may look familiar because it used to be a Sears outlet. But in February, the company announced it would merge with American Freight and all of its stores would be rebranded to offer a one-stop shop for your home. With its nearly 130 Sears outlet stores and more than 170 American Freight locations across the United States, the new brand will be the perfect place to shop for furniture, mattresses, and appliances. You can still shop online and have products shipped to your home as well. A one-of-a-kind concept restaurant is newer than ever. If you're looking for a great indoor or outdoor space for food and drinks, you don't have to look far. The Bruce Hall announced they're expanding and open opening seven days a week now. This is the first week they kicked off with more hours. They also have two brands, two brand new beer gardens in beer garden inspired patios. Now, if you haven't visited, it's the first ever multi-concept brewery and food hall in Torrance. It offers two breweries and four food concepts. It has a little something for everyone with food from George Lopez's Shingon Kitchen, Colin Cowherd's The Herd, Rock and Fish, and Chicken Twilly. It's located next to the Delamo Fashion Center. They're open today and tomorrow from 11.30 to 11 p.m. and Sunday through Thursday from 11.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pet adoptions continue to be encouraged throughout the county as more animals are in need of finding their new forever homes. While there has been a big uptick in adoption since the pandemic hit, local officials say help is still needed. The Los Angeles County Department of Animal Care is offering to waive adoption fees in order to get their animals into permanent homes. Here's a view of some of the adorable pets up for adoption right now. Anyone looking to adopt must make an appointment to visit their local center as they are close to the public during the health crisis. The closest one to Torrance is the Carson Gardena Animal Care Center on Victoria Street. To learn more, visit animalcare.lacounty.com. Gov. As unique graduation events, drive-by diplomas, and social distance goodbyes take place throughout the month of June, we want to continue celebrating our class of 2020 and your big milestone. Whether it's a preschool promotion or college graduation and every milestone in between, send us your photo and let us know what school you're graduating from and we'll be sure to share it on our show. Email us at COVID19today at torrentsca.gov. With the majority of Americans having to cancel traditional summer plans due to COVID-19, we want to see how you and your family are making special changes to ensure your summer fun isn't completely ruined and you're still finding new ways to fill your summer days. Whether you're planning a camping trip, road trip, or headed to a staycation somewhere or just camping out in the backyard, send us your trip itinerary, camping checklist, roadmap, or pictures from your special summer plans We'd love to see how you are making the most of your summer and hopefully inspire others. Email us at COVID19today at torrentsca.gov. Well, before we go, at the end of each program, we like to share stories from our community. Feel good pictures, images, and videos that remind us of how resilient our community is and reflect how Torrance truly cares. Torrance Memorial Medical Center gave the community an update on their special four prod friends that are part of their pet visitation program. Their owners wanted to share with TMMC staff that they've been busy at home, staying socially distanced while they wait their return to the hospital. The many furry friends that you see on screen are part of the pet visitation program at the hospital, which has been paused due to COVID-19. Pre-COVID, these dogs would come and visit patients to cheer them up. The dogs pass a stringent obedience training test and must be at least two years old. I'm sure the hospital is just as eager to bring them back as well. What a great way to find ways to bring joy to those in need. Another great way to show how Torrance cares, even with those four paws. Now, if you have a great story or have photos or videos you'd like to share or just want to say hello, please email us at COVID19today at torrentsca.gov. 
That's our update for COVID-19 today. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow. We will be broadcasting our show at 4 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday this weekend due to the extended length of this week's city council meeting. Be sure to tune in as Leslie Robbins brings you the latest updates. Be safe, stay healthy, and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.